Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm Chris Holmstrom. Thanks for waking up with us here on KCOW News. Here's some of the stories we're tracking for you this morning. This is an awful story. A catastrophic plane crash on Catalina Island. Five people are dead. We're live with what we've discovered about the plane's tragic flights. Plus, a husband searches for his missing wife, and it all ends in a heartbreaking discovery how a walk took a violent and deadly turn. And it's a race against time for residents to get to safety ahead of Hurricane Milton's landfall. We're live in Florida with the devastating conditions on what could be a once in a century powerful storm. All right, but here in SoCal, we are in for a cool down, actually. Let's take a look at your next weather. Amber Lee watching that for us. Cool down sounds good, Amber. Yeah, so temperatures continue to slide little by little each day. I'm going to give you a uh, comparison. So yesterday for areas like Riverside, still topping out pretty hot in the upper 90s. But today, the forecast, we are going down by four more degrees down into the mid 90s. So still above average, especially for this time of year, because normally Riverside, you should see temperatures in the mid 80s. But as we head toward the afternoon, we're going to start to see those temperatures get a little cooler little by little each day. So this is what our forecast looks like today. We'll have some clouds for the coast and then topping out in the mid 70s, mid to low 80s for LA and Orange County and then mid 90s for the valleys and the Inland Empire, 93 for the high desert, 78 for the mountains. Coming up my next weather forecast, I will have an update for you on Hurricane Milton. All right. Alex. Hi, Amber. Good morning to you. Watching your commute in and around Long Beach, the northbound side of the 405 freeway. There is a crash that we're watching. It is right before the 710. The carpool lane, two left lanes blocked there. So we have seen uh, the commute get a little bit worse. Of course, you can see all of that red out there. We want to show you a live look from our next traffic sky camera. You can see all of that backup. This is right at Atlantic Avenue. So we will continue to watch this for you. An overview of Los Angeles, a little bit of slowing, of course, along the five freeway that is typical for this time in the morning, uh, giving you a live look over SkyCal on uh, Glendale five freeway. So we are seeing uh, not uh, pretty good conditions over there. And as we look over the Inland Empire and some parts of Orange County, of course, seeing some slowing on the 91 freeway. We'll continue to watch your commute for you uh, throughout the hour. We'll send it back to you. Okay, Alex, thank you so much. We do want to get to that breaking news. A deadly plane crash on Catalina Island has left five people dead. We have team coverage of that investigation. Our Mark Lewis at the desk and KCAL News reporter Carr Finstrom is live in Long Beach. Earlier this morning, we did spot sheriff personnel boarding this ferry, which is now about to leave for the island. They could not speak with us on camera, but are headed to help with the investigation. Take a look. A radar exchange, which tracks air traffic in the area, shows a plane traveling away from the airport. The screen freezes at the time of that crash, and the plane disappears. This was just after 8 last night. The Avalon Sheriff Station says at that time, they also got a 911 emergency notification from a cell device, saying that user's cell phone had been involved in the collision with people possibly hurt, and it gave the GPS coordinates. Avalon Sheriff Station deputies, firefighters, search and rescue, they all responded and found the wreckage of a twin engine Beechcraft aircraft just about one mile west of Catalina Island Airport. Sadly, they also found five adults who had died. The crash happened in rough, steep terrain, the area being secured there until the county medical examiner can arrive. We also have video of what is known as the airport in the sky. This is from past reporting, but it will give you a feel for this small airport takeoff and landing strip located about 1,600 feet elevation there. Aviation experts have written about some landing challenges. This plane had just taken off. There are also concerns there about fog and visibility. We did check with the National Weather Service. They say there were no dense fog advisories at the time of the crash, but that investigators will look into whether any weather factors could have played a role. The FAA, the NTSB, both investigating. We spoke with people waiting for the ferry who've used the airport, including a pilot. And people say things like, well, it's kind of like landing on an aircraft carrier, but that really isn't true. Who knows what happened? You can only speculate right now until they actually get to the scene and do their investigation. That's horrible, and unfortunately, it's not the first time, so I'm not sure what happened this time. I didn't realize the airport was still open at 8 p.m. And that pilot also told us that this is not a lighted runway as far as he knows uh, and that uh, he believes, uh, both of them believe that this uh, 
doesn't usually allow aircraft to fly.